Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the Great One Grind continuing. Hope you guys have been enjoying all of the uh, Great One Grinding content. Um, you guys may have seen the post that I posted earlier. We don't have a Great One on our map anymore. What happened? You guys will have to find out. Did we get another one to spawn? Did I get impatient and shoot the existing one? Did it run in front of my bullet, taking the shot that was meant for another deer and dying on the spot? Did my save corrupt and I had to get my backup? What happened? You may never know until tomorrow. Tomorrow you guys will find out. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a crazy video. He was eaten by a black bear. Probably those those darn black bears. I tell you. Those bear are just they're just everywhere. Eating everybody's deer. Can I spot that please? No? Okay, perfect. Just blast that real quickly and nothing else. All right. That hurts not there. I know Sabrina, it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Hey Copper, how's it going? Hey, call the wild James, how's it going? He got lonely? Probably. Your bus is stuck in the snow. Oh no, Alexander. That doesn't sound good. Nice, Robert. Nice. There we go. Let's get these guys down. And yeah, that didn't work out how I needed it to. He probably moved to Mexico. Probably did. Probably did. What's my favorite gun to use? I like the 308 the best. There's a lot of good guns in the game though. A lot of guns that are pretty fun. Uh, well, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, Steven. I personally have 68 zones, but I know people that have 65. I know people that have 55. It all depends on how your herds are. Nice, Preston. Hopefully you get something good. Uh, yes, Marie. Everybody will get the update. Nice, Tiger. Welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome. Nice, Kelton. That's awesome. Hey, Trippy Plays. How's it going? We don't know when the update will be yet, but most likely in one to two months. Maybe if we're lucky, it'll be within the month even. I'd say that's a possibility. Nice, Charles. That's awesome. Any guess on the angler's new map? I didn't even know they were adding a new map until yesterday. So honestly, I have no idea. No idea on what it could be. Hopefully it'll be cool though. Hopefully it'll give us uh, some more like salmon species. That'd be really nice. Nice, Charles. Nice. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Your birthday's on Wednesday. That is awesome. Catch and cook. That's awesome. Happy early birthday, dude. How long I've been doing YouTube? Like two and a half years, maybe two and three quarters years at this point. I have videos on the channel from before then, but I didn't actually start consistently doing YouTube till like two and a half years ago. It's popping in to say hello, ill at the moment, so won't stay as I need to rest, but hope that goes well. I'm sorry to hear that, Aquity. Hopefully you get better super quick. 
The way I see the angler walker, walker is like the fishing mechanics are not the greatest in the world. But uh, the open world is what really made me enjoy the game. The open world multiplayer with friends was the most fun I had on uh, the angler. And it was probably the most fun experience I've had in a fishing game. A lot of people didn't like the angler, but I actually had a lot of fun on it. It could just be because I don't really look for a super hardcore simulator type of fishing game. I found the angler to be like the, uh, the perfect middle ground where it wasn't super realistic, wasn't super arcade. Yeah, Bo Hunter, it's been wild, dude. I don't really watch him, uh, Denise, so I, I don't really have an opinion on that. Thank you, hunting man. I appreciate that. I'm doing good, Ben. Doing good. Got a red deer diamond today. Nice, Chase. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. Hey, rain drenched. Uh, yeah, Mac, YouTube is my full-time job. Full-time job and hobby. What do I think about Way of the Hunter? I think it's a good game, but it needs more content like rares and non-typicals. And, uh, then I'll enjoy it even more. Yeah, Trippy, I've been playing Call of the Wild ever since the original pre-release beta they did back in late 2016. So I've played it quite a bit before I started doing content on it. Don't want this one in this zone. Oh. Well, that was not the greatest shooting in the world, but we got him. Uh, to be honest, I don't know, uh, Nicole. I haven't really paid attention to how many zones I have for Red Deer. Because I don't really hunt it based off zones. I hunt it based off of the lake. Alright, Johnny, no worries. 105, what a small male. What a small male, man. N not a small male man, but a small male... Man, you know. <laughs> nice, KC. Another new zone with four twos in it. Nice, man. Also, guys, just wanted to say. Y'all might want to check out Kill Clinton's stream that he's, I believe, going to do today. He might have something special. Let's just say. I got a feeling something crazy is going to happen on his stream. Y'all better be, uh, y'all better be checking him out after we get done here. Good old KC Gaming. Mad foreshadowing, <laughs> indeed. Hey, Duncan, how's it going? Hey, Trick Shots. Hey, Ian. Hey, Reezy. Sorry, not going to give you guys any more hints towards uh, what we got going in tomorrow's video. Only hint I'm giving you guys is that the Great One is no longer on our map, but what happened to him, you know? What happened to him? You guys, we'll have to find out tomorrow. But I gotta say, you won't want to miss the video. I put quite a bit of extra work into it to make it perfect. That is about uh, as good of a hint as you guys will get. The hint is a hint that is a hint. Exactly. Exactly. There's hints within hints. Like, there's, there's hints hidden in the hints that you guys might not have even picked up on.
What's my thoughts on the New England map? I think it's gonna be an okay map. Um, not exactly the most exciting species lineup, but that's to be expected with so many other massive changes happening this update. I can understand why the map is a little lackluster with all of the other things that are happening. So many new additions to the game, so many new free updates that are just gonna be crazy good. But I think New England will be fun. I really want to see more of the map. I want to see what it looks like as a whole. I want to see Jaxie hunt in more areas of it. Which he probably will be doing. I imagine I imagine the next time they show it off. Didn't he say that he was going to explore more of the map next week? Or was that the week after? I don't know. I remember he mentioned something about it at the end of the stream. But regardless, I'm excited to see more of the map. I'm curious how beautiful it's going to be because it looked pretty decent visually from the little bit they showed it's hard to say Necron there's a lot of things that could have happened oh and actually I'm gonna put up a poll and I'm, I'm really curious what you guys think Let's see. Let's see what you guys think. Okay, now I can post it. It wouldn't let me at first because there was too many characters. There we go. Let me know in the poll what you guys think happened. What do you think happened to the great one that was on our map? I'm really curious uh, which one you guys think happened. Which one of the options will get the most votes? Oh wow, it's actually pretty split. Okay. Okay. That's actually kind of surprising. It is super split. Keeps bouncing back and forth. It seems like most of you think that either another spawned and we shot them both, or it ran in front of another deer. Both are very likely options. Actually, all of them are pretty likely knowing Call of the Wild. Yeah, totally, Johnny. Why would that happen, right? <laughs> Probably thought it was a duck. <laughs> well, if I thought it was a duck, I would have missed him, right? And then we would still have a great one on our map regardless of what happened. If I thought it was a duck, I'd go to shoot it and just miss like 20 shots and then give up. All right, we need a main menu. What does it mean save and reset progress? Like my files got corrupted and I had to get my backup save. That's what I mean by that. Because that's happened to me before. I've had that happen before where I had like a power outage and it corrupted my save file and I had to pull my backup save and uh, use that. 
So that's why it's up there as an option, you know. Never, you never know what could happen. Bobby, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Gonna hack into my video files and figure out what happened. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if you can do it. Thank you so much for the super chat, Bobby. Really appreciate it, man. We're booping them and bopping them. Come on. Oh, oh gosh, you guys didn't see that. I am so sorry if I made anybody blind. It is a pretty awesome game, Trick Shots. Nice, Preston, that's awesome. He did indeed, Johnny, he did. Or er, Ben, I mean. Johnny did indeed, Ben, he did. Okay, that one's, that's yeah, too far away. Can't be bothered. Um, K.A., thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Tired of work, got to sleep, but I wish you a nice stream and quickly wanted to ask, do you shoot Red Fox above level 4 for herd management? I don't know about Red Fox. I've never tried it on them. I don't really know, to be honest. I, I've never thought about it with uh, Red Fox, and to be honest, I don't even know how low of a level they can reach, so... It would be tough. It's going to be based off of what the lowest level those males can reach is. I don't really know him, uh, Skeleton Plays. I, I haven't really watched any of his videos. I've seen maybe one or two, but that is not nearly enough to make a judgment on somebody. What populations are getting reset with the update? So there is no full populations being reset with the update. It's just going to be specific species, so... Uh, the moose is getting a reset, the mooflon are getting a reset, and the um, mountain lions are getting a reset. But that is going to be the only things being reset with this update, thankfully. It was always quite tragic when they would reset, like, everything. I don't know, Grant. You'll have to find out in tomorrow's video. That'd be really cool, Telly. That'd be really cool. Hey, Siphon, how's it going, man? Uh, where did that one run? Oh, there he is. I uh, know there will not be any greater kudu added. That was, unfortunately, something that wasn't meant to be on the list. And so there is no greater kudu coming to the update. Which is very, very sad. Oh, definitely, Zevin. Me too. But that's always a possibility with an update, depending on what they do in the update. Some changes, unfortunately, require stuff like that. But thankfully, this one doesn't really require it, besides Moose, Mountain Lion, and Mouflon. So for the most part, we're good. Uh, it's a custom-built noodle. Uh, one of the mods can drop the PC specs in the chat for you. <laughs> how, how, how do you accidentally type OV, Ben? <laughs> I'm curious about that one. <laughs> oh, I guess, I guess V and O are next to P and C. That makes sense. <laughs> That's great. What is Diamond Whitetail? So it would be 255.09. Thank you, Keegan. 
Have I ever played Monster Hunter? I haven't, no. I've been interested in, interested in it before, but never actually got it. It looks kind of cool, though. Nice. Uh, yeah, Waylon, they can. Great ones can get a rare fur type. Hoping we can be uh, one of the few people to get one of those. Uh, no, Chase, as far as I can tell, stacking diamonds isn't going to get you a great one. Even herd management isn't going to make make you get a great one. Great ones seem to be somewhat random. Yeah, he did, Reezy. I believe that's the only legitimate albino ever killed. There's been a couple of fabled piebald uh, killed over the years, but most of them were kind of sketch and it was hard to tell if they were legitimate or not. I know there was at least one on Xbox that was killed and then I believe there might have been a second one on Xbox, but yeah, there's been very few rare great ones ever killed. Oh my gosh, yeah, Preston, it would be so cool. I'd love to get a Fabled Piebald one. Just because it's... It may not be the rarest of the fur types the Great Ones can get, but it's the most unique. It's the only exclusive rare fur type for the Whitetail Great Ones, so... I would like to get that one if I had to pick between Melanistic Albino and Fabled Piebald. I would want the Fabled Piebald. Yeah, me too. I hope they do something with just rare great ones in general. I'd like to see a lot more rare fur types in the future. I'd like to see the red deer get some love as well. It, it desperately needs a couple more racks and also an overhaul to the fur types. I think Fabled Piebald should be the normal one, but it would be nice if they could make it so it had the ability to get melanistic Fabled Piebald, maybe, and then Albino, and maybe a, maybe a new one as well. Because I know there is such thing as white stags. There's some white stags that I believe their genetics always come back as being white, which would be really cool if we could get, like, a white stag that isn't Albino as a possibility for one of the great ones. There's two different fur types for it? Wow. I didn't even know that. I've only seen the one. Crazy. Piebald and Mystic Great One soon? Yes. That is uh, definitely the next trophy. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum. Yeah, me too, Zevin. It's nice to see. Most likely, Siphon. Sadly, a lot of those were hacked. I remember when all of those uh, hacked images of the Great One, like the different racks were showing up and the different fur types. It's unfortunate that that's even a possibility. I have for a long time really wanted Call of the Wild to do something about the modding and cheating issue, but unfortunately, I don't think it's possible. Thank you, Levi. I'm glad you enjoy them. All right, later, Siphon. Imagine a typical rack Mela. Oh my gosh, Ben, that'd be so nice. Just any rare with that typical rack would be phenomenal. I really love the typical rack. I so badly want to get one. It's just random, Magic Fruit Deer. You just got to get lucky. Uh, for Moose Herd Management, leave twos and below. Leave the level twos and the level ones. Speaking of twos, there's a two. Okay, we actually need to kill that one. 
Actually, I'm going to hold off on that. Because I don't know where the rest of this herd has gone. See something right there. That looks like a solid buck. Maybe even a piebald. I see a lot of white on its chest, but it's hard to say. No, it's not a pie. Well, we at least got two of them there. How long am I going to do the Great One Whitetail grind? I think it's a really fun grind to watch. We're going to do it for quite a while. Probably until I get bored of it. I've been having more fun with this grind than I did the Red Deer grind, and that's saying a lot because I love the Red Deer. At least most of the live streams will probably be whitetail grinding for until the new map comes out. But uh, we will do lots of different videos on other things. Wow, we got them both. <laughs> Love to see it. Me too, Johnny. That'd be so cool. I hope so, Rain. I haven't seen many Melanistics at all. We just had that one that showed up on stream like a week, week and a half ago. That'd be crazy, Catch. That'd be crazy. Unfortunately, there's not really a way to make more rare spawn from what I can tell. And I don't think there ever will be. Hey, Sonaldo, how's it going? It's not important to leave the rares, Magic Fruit Deer. That I can tell you immediately. Stacking your rares will do nothing for you. It doesn't make more rare spawn. The only purpose of stacking rares is just to have rares on your map and for it to look cool, you know? There's no actual purpose to it. Unlike stacking diamonds, stacking diamonds and great ones can be used to get more level ones on your map because it drives up that average score. But other than that, there's really not too much of a purpose to stacking. Besides getting those level ones if you're stacking diamonds and great ones, you know. That is insane, Ben. That is crazy. Alright, let's see what this herd's got going. It's been a bit since I've been up here, so I figured we might as well check it one time. Just got to every once in a while make sure that this zone is still all does. I haven't had a shootable deer here in ages. But that doesn't mean one couldn't just randomly pop up. Okay, it looks like we're good. Beautiful. Love to see it. What do I think of the new update? I think it's really cool. I'm excited for stuff like weapon skins. I'm excited for the moose great one. I'm excited to get different species on all of the older maps. So much cool stuff coming with the update. Yeah, me too, Wayland. It would make the game amazing. Have you missed anything? Not really yet, Declan. Ow. That was out of nowhere. Thoughts on the new map? It's okay. I mean... I need to see more of it to really be able to make a decision. 
as of now, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's definitely not the greatest map that's ever been released. Uh, if I'm being honest, I think all of the other stuff with the update is better than the map itself. That's a good diamond. There we go. First diamond of the day. Oh, really, Ben? 257. Wow, that's low scoring for that rack. What? Okay, then. 257, huh? Look at that tip to tip spread. <laughs> that's kind of wild. Not bad. Cool little deer, but I've actually got one that's tighter, so we're not going to tax it. But we will, however, raise the diamond counter. 254. Even the deer looks confused? It does. It's like, really, man? I score that high? Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, now. Get back here. Best way to make money in the game? Um, shoot everything you see. Do missions. And if you want a specific animal that's good for money, I suggest red deer. What is this disgusting level three? Ah, uh, that's not going to score good. That will definitely not make diamond. We messed it up too. Wait, no, maybe, I don't know. I think we got single lung. It's walking with its foot up, which usually means single lung. I mean, either way, it's going to troll regardless. Yeah, I'm a little confused about that shot. That was an interesting one. I aimed a little bit low. That shouldn't have been spine. Hard to say. We'll figure out soon. I don't know, Johnny. That was a confusing one. I guess we will find out very shortly. Really curious what happened on that shot. Either way, though, there's no way it would have made diamond. There's absolutely no way it could have made diamond. How? How did I hit spine? That is so weird. Where I aimed at the top of the leg, right? Or did I what did I mistake where I uh where I was aiming? Well, I mean, regardless, troll, so. Not that big of a deal. Still, that was a confusing shot. I thought for sure I aimed lower. But I might have been mistaken. Only doing the grind at four lakes? Nice, Nicholas. I mean, you can... Grind as many lakes as you need to grind, you know? As many lakes as you feel you need to grind.
There's one right in front of him that I just can't get a spot on. Got that one. What's my favorite animal to get a diamond of? I think it's still the red deer, even though I've seen hundreds of them. I, I still think that's my favorite one. The red deer just looks so impressive. All right, later, Reezy. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we already updated the diamond count, uh, Brayden. That last one was a troll. Uh, no, Drew, I don't have an Xbox. I only play PC. Top three favorite maps, uh, Tiawaroa, Rev on Tule Coast, and Silver Ridge Peaks. Got my first ever pheasant yesterday. Nice touchdown. That's awesome. Okay, this one probably ran way too far. We'll just ignore him. What's my favorite super rare? I would say probably my first albino diamond white tail. That one just looks amazing. Primarily because it's got the rack that I love the most. I don't know, RGF, you'll have to see in tomorrow's video. What's my favorite animal to hunt? I'd say it's gotta be red deer, but whitetail are starting to go up on the list quite a bit after this grind. Best DLC, uh, there's a lot of them that are good. I'd say one of the best is the tripod and tree stand DLC. It's so vital to any type of grind you want to go on. It'll save you a lot of trouble with not having to worry about deleting zones because you won't be dealing as much uh, hunting pressure. So I'd say that's one of the most important ones. All right, we're gonna have to not visit this zone for a couple runs. Get rid of all that hunting pressure. Nice, Dante. Yeah, they are very beautiful. Well, it depends on if you're on console or PC, Curly, because uh, console players get the tent DLC for free. 10 DLC is built into the game on both console versions of the game. Uh, it's just on PC where we have to buy the 10 DLC. I've been chasing a 268 to 322 level 5 moose for the past two hours. Oh no, Charles. Have you tried resetting the uh, drink time and going to its drink zone? Nice Midwest Hunter, that's awesome. A 270 Melanistic, that is crazy. Ah oh, man, I would love to get a trophy whitetail like that. Oh my gosh, Siphon, that's that's crazy. The fact that that even exists on the internet is wild. Like, <laughs> who went through the trouble to do that? All right, awesome, Midwest Hunter. Definitely want to see that. Y 
You will have to find out tomorrow, unknown. We got a pretty special video coming tomorrow. And I think you guys are going to love it. Got a level 5 reindeer and it scored 365. Ooh. Reindeer are quite rude sometimes. I've had some very unfortunate experiences with the reindeer and the caribou. They are quite rude. Yeah, pretty much, Drain. <laughs> what is pronghorn drink time? It should be like 1830, I believe. Unfortunately, it's very late. No, no, no. Don't float. Come on, man. No. Don't be doing this to me. Well, I got the bigger of the two. And... Ah, uh, come on. I hate the floaters. I'm not even going to bother with that one. Exhaust to the fabled piebald supply from the hunter official server. Go scour Steam's community tab. Maybe I'm making the second piebald fur type up. Maybe. It's hard to say. It wouldn't surprise me if there's one that rarely spawns. There's been so many issues with great ones not spawning all of the uh, varieties before. I remember for the, for the longest time only one rack variety was available on the great one, Whitetail. And then just randomly out of nowhere one of the updates introduced the rest of them. And it seemed like every update, a different one was more common. The Great Ones have gone through some interesting, uh, interesting things. Really? You're gonna spook before I even get a shot off. Not very nice of you. Oh, now you're turning as I shoot. Even more not nice. What happened to the great one? You will have to see in tomorrow's video, Scott. Tomorrow's video is going to be a banger. It's going to be a good one. All right, later, Rain. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, Mountain Lions drink at, I believe, t from 21 to 24 or something like that. I know it's during black bear time on SRP or like around black bear time. No, Doc, I'm not exposing what happened. I'm saving it for tomorrow's video because I really want you guys to I really want you guys to experience it through the video and not through what I say, you know? Cuz what happened was uh crazy. We'll leave it at that. It was crazy. Gosh, that one... Uh, that one dipped out right before I took the shot. Yeah, like I said, Zyphon, I've been, I've been littering hints here and there. Some of them you guys have caught on to, others you didn't. But I'm not going to outright say what it is. But there's been, uh, there's been some little hints here and there. Nice, Midwest Hunter, that's awesome. Sounds like you're making some good progress. Hey, Shadow Wolf. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you, you got me, KC. You got me. <laughs> Man, how did, how did you know I moved into Mississippi? That's crazy. Not gonna lie, though. I kind of want to eventually get a Mississippi great one. As much as I would hate that grind, I think it could be cool. We will have to see, Duck. We will have to see. Hey, Maz, I'm doing good. Maybe, Big Rat Gaming. You never know. Um, pretty much, EJ. So, you want to hunt the level 2s and 3s until your map is primarily level 1s. And when it gets to a point where you're not having level 1s show up nearly as much, you can start stacking level 3s if you would like to, to get even more level 1s on the map. And what I like to do is, throughout my grind, anytime a level 3 would spawn in one of my favorite zones, I would leave it. That way, that's one less spot that a level 1 could show up in my favorite zones. And so, I just try to fill my favorite zones with the level 3s as much as I could, and then hunt all of the zones I hated to try and get them to turn to level 1s. And after a while, I got to the point where most of the other zones were 1s, and then I killed off all the 3s, and I've been able to pretty much just stick to my favorite Whitetail zones this entire grind. Like, 90% of this grind, I've been able to stay to... Well, I guess 90% of the time after stacking, I've been able to stick to just the zones I like. That's a weird deer. Um... That tip to tip was wild. Super close. Crazy. Uh, you can't join my game, uh, Jackson. I am doing single player. I grind in single player because, you know, opening my map up to the public would just be a recipe for disaster. Because when you open up your map to the public, you don't know what they're going to shoot. You don't know if they're going to ruin your zones. You don't know if somebody's going to um, start shooting my level ones that I've got stacked up. Like, there's a, there's a lot of reasons for me not to open up my uh, great one grinds to the public. So many things could go wrong, so no, I don't open up anything to, uh, multiplayer. Look at that, one time. The end of this beam just flips right up. Kinda cool. Not a bad looking deer. Nice, Leah, that's awesome. Way of the Hunter or Call of the Wild? Right now I like Call of the Wild better, but Way of the Hunter's got a good chance of being my favorite once they add rares and non-typicals and stuff like that. When that type of stuff gets added, there's a good chance that game's gonna be one of my favorites, if not my favorite overall. What happened to the Great One Black Bear grind? I just stopped having fun on it, so I stopped doing it. And then they reset Silver Ridge Peaks and redistributed all of the populations and now black bear are just a pain to hunt even more than they were before so we've postponed it until I muster up the uh, the will to continue a tough grind like that doing Leighton was uh, tough enough I don't know if I could survive going on to Silver Ridge Peaks or Mississippi and grinding bears There's our little level two. Is there any more? There should be at least one more, I imagine. I'm trying to get this zone to become all level ones. Thinking about stacking threes again. Because that would definitely speed it up a bit, but... At the same time, I already have very few shootable deer each run now. And so I think stacking would just make it so it's hard to get them to respawn properly. Because I notice a lot of times if I just shoot a couple, it's really hard to get the respawns to come back consistently. It's almost like I got to do full rotations around my entire 
uh, group of zones in order to get them to reliably respawn. So I think we're just going to be up to RNG. Hope, th hope that the level ones will actually show up here and not other zones. Nice, Cody, that's crazy. During my first great one grind, got like 100 kills in two weeks. How do I get more? Well, first of all, what are you grinding? Because the tips are going to vary depending on the map that you're hunting, depending on which species you're hunting. A lot of different uh, things come into play there. Any trophies in the stream today? Yeah, we got a diamond and a troll. Oh, definitely Troy. We're going to go hard for the Great One Moose. We will be grinding that thing super quick. As fast as we possibly can. I'm going to try and be as efficient as possible. I want to get him to spawn hopefully within a couple thousand kills. We've been averaging one to two thousand recently, so... I got a good feeling about the Moose grind. Okay, no bucks here. What map am I planning to do the grind on? Either Medved or the new map. I don't know what the new map's moose populations are going to look like, so... If it's good, we might do it on there. If not, then we'll do a moose grind on Medved. Because I know for a fact that Medved's good, and I'm relatively familiar with the layout of it. Red deer or white tail? I mean, I like them both, Levi. They're both great. Honestly, at this point, it's kind of hard for me to choose between them because I'm actually starting to enjoy the white tail grind a lot more than I used to. Oh, you're doing the Tiabaro or red deer grind. Got you, Steven. Okay. Well, if you want to increase the amount of kills you can get... If you're doing herd management, one of the most important things is going to be just getting a lot of your zones to be level 4 and below so you can abandon them. That way you can dedicate most of your tents to just a, a smaller selection of zones. That'll speed up the grind a lot. I would recommend checking out my Red Deer Herd Management Guide if you want more tips on that, but that's probably the best, uh, best way to speed up the grind is just to get to the point in herd management where... You're going to eliminate like half of the zones. Uh, sadly, no, Graham. They have not announced anything. The second I know a release date for the new update, you guys will see it in a video. That's diamond potential. I think at least. That looked like diamond rack. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Same spot that we got that super rare yesterday. Didn't get that one good, sadly. Nice, we nailed that one. Yeah, unknown yesterday we got a super rare on stream. Um, should be Tuesday as always, Walker. Should be Tuesday as, on, as always. Where's the level 3? I want to grab him first. Where did he go? Is this him? Yeah, it's him. Or not level 3. Diamond potential level 2. Sadly, didn't quite make it. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, yes, tomorrow, Austin. Tomorrow, there will be a video about the whole situation. Not going to spoil what happened, but, I mean, you guys see the poll options. You guys will have to find out tomorrow exactly what happened.
Yeah, I like Medved a lot, Dynamic. I think Medved's one of the better Moose maps. A lot of people really like Yukon. Um, Layton is good too, but I don't feel like doing it on Layton because I've got my setup um, dedicated to Whitetail, and I don't want to have to take it down. So that's why I chose Medved. I find Medved to be one of the best Moose maps, and it doesn't require me removing one of my other setups. What would you say we need in Call of the Wild? Um, more customizability to the rifles, uh, better true racks for some of the existing species like Whitetail. Another Africa map. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff Call of the Wild could use. A lot of stuff that would make the game better. I think non-typicals is probably the one I'd like to see the most though. I would love to see non-typicals get added to the game. That way there's something else to grind for. And I would hope that if they do eventually add in non-typicals like they mentioned years ago, I would hope that they are not easy to get. Obviously not as rare as a great one, but I'd hope that they can't be herd managed like diamonds can. I'd like them to be similar to rares where they just randomly will have crazy racks sometimes. I think that would be a good way to do it. Maybe Auden, it's hard to say. Ah, uh, there's a couple lurking, Duck. Johnny's lurking and Ben is lurking as well. Let's real quickly change the time a bit just so that we can get these uh, two in this other zone back. Hey, see, he's probably lurking. He is. He definitely is. You will have to see tomorrow, Steckley. We're going to have a full video tomorrow about everything. What rack is that? That looks like a diamond rack, maybe. Oh, it definitely is. I'm sure that pretty much just made you guys freak out a little bit that I would take that shot, but uh, <laughs> I had to. I'm not letting him get away. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there we go. 273.47. Another big one. Big mail. We'll tax it. We'll tax it for you guys. That's a good one. Max weight as well. First max weight of the day. This white tail grind has been something else. This has been quite an enjoyable grind. Uh, Benny, I would recommend checking out my video where I killed the drop time great one. I talk about how I'm grinding in there, and I'd say that's probably the best way to do the latent grind. So I would recommend checking that video out. It's all herd management, Josh. Herd management is how I get so many diamonds. Again, check out the uh, last great one video that we posted on the channel where we killed the drop time great one. That video includes a, a guide to exactly how I'm grinding. And it'll show you guys how to get more diamonds. Keep in mind, from what we can tell, it doesn't increase your chances of getting a great one. It definitely doesn't increase your chances of getting rares, but it'll make it so diamonds are a little bit uh, easier to get.
Let's see. Let's try to get them out of there because could not see any of them good. Also, every time I fast travel here, this moose runs by. Tempted to just take him down. I mean, it's a pretty good looking moose. Oh, is that a new one? Might be. I think it is a new level one. If that's the case, that's great. What's my biggest white tail? 274.7, I believe. Uh, you will end up seeing tomorrow, uh, in tomorrow's video, Jamie. Tomorrow's video will include everything about it. It's gonna be a good one, so. I hope you guys are ready. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will have the video out. What's crazy is tomorrow we're probably going to get more information about the new map as well, so it might be a double video day, guys. It might be a double video day. I would leave them, Trippy. If you're doing herd management, leave the level 4 and below Red Deer. If you're not doing herd management, then go ahead and blast them all, you know. I think it was just that one, so we're not going to bother claiming it. Let's go check this lake right here. This lake's been kind of inconsistent. It only gets a buck like once every five runs. What levels would I consider shooters for red deer? I'd say five and above for red deer. Leave the four and below if you're uh, trying to manage them. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Is it okay making you jump short about you responding to my comment a few weeks? I, I mean, if you want to, Corey, if you want to, that's that's fine. <laughs> as long as it doesn't include like any of my like video content, then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Nate, I I'm not sure if you saw the post that I put up earlier, but um, there's no longer a great one on my map and. You will have to uh, watch tomorrow's video to find out why. Oh, was that another? No. Where are these two? They're probably not respawned yet. Yeah, that's fine then, Corey. Can, can you herd manage with four likes? Wait, what? Okay, I, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Daniel. I'm assuming you meant lakes. Can you herd manage with manage with four lakes? No. Um, herd management requires all of your uh, population for the most part. Because what's going to happen if you only use four lakes is eventually they're all going to become level fours and below. If you're doing red deer, at least they'll all become fours and below, and all your shootable ones are going to be at the places you're not hunting. I made that mistake early on. I tried hunting just a few areas and that's what happened. All of the areas I was hunting turned into fours and below and I had to find new locations to grind. But if you wanted to, you could just grind your least favorite areas first, force them to become level four and below, and then uh, move on to other locations that you like more later in the grind. Honestly, that's probably the best way to do it. It's just a little bit more, I guess, tedious. Because you're worrying more about uh, getting fewer and fewer shootable stags there. No, Bob, I'm not going to tell yet. I'm leaving it as a surprise for tomorrow's video because I really want you guys to experience it. 
through the video itself and not through something that I tell you guys, you know? I'll give you guys hints, get you guys excited for it, but I want you guys to see it for yourself. Hey Jordan, how's it going, man? How you doing? Thank you, Landon. I'm glad you enjoy them. Uh, yeah, Blakester. I've actually got more zones than that now. I believe I only use around, let's see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I only use 11 zones out of my 68. There's 57 zones that I never go to. Now, not all of them are all level 1s. Some of them have some very small level 2s in them as well, but for the most part, it's all level 1s. And I'm sure there's probably a zone or two that I've missed. Maybe a buck or two that has gone back to some of the zones I don't hunt, but uh, for the most part, we're only hunting the uh, the best of the best zones now. Is Piebald as rare as Albino? Not quite. Albino is a little bit more than more rare than Piebald in pretty much every species, I believe. From what I've noticed, nine times out of ten, Piebald shows up more commonly than Albino in the majority of the species. I think there's one or two exceptions, though. Uh, yeah, no, this is my full-time full -time job. And I am incredibly thankful that I even have the opportunity to do this as a full-time job. All thanks to you guys watching the streams and the videos. Great one to grind with only shooting level ones. That'd be a very lackluster, uh, very lackluster grind. To get an albino quail, as much as I want one, getting the diamond was annoying enough. <laughs> I'm happy with just having a diamond quail. What's my favorite birds? I like the Capricallies the best, I'd say. The Capricallies are just cool. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> I was about to do something. <laughs> do you think it's easier to find good animals at your own reserve or multiplayer reserves? Any animal in general? It really depends. I'd say in general multiplayer, it's easier to find trophies because you can just keep jumping servers until you find one that is a, a good server to jump on. But uh, if it's for a specific species, then I'd say single player is the best because you can use herd management to get those diamonds that you want. But if it's just diamonds in general for all species, then... Multiplayer tends to be my first choice. And plus, it's always very exciting to find diamonds in multiplayer. Because every time you go into a server, it's a completely unknown map. You're not sure what's going to be there. If it's going to be a loaded map with tons of trophies, or if it's going to be completely dead. You never know what people have done on their maps, so... It makes it exciting when you go in multiplayer. But then in single player, it can be really fun to watch the progression of a grind. Just like the whitetail grind here. It's been really awesome to see the progression of them since I first started grinding to the point they are now. They both have their uh, benefits.
Um, where'd the last one go? I think it ran off. I, I don't think we got a good hit into it, if I remember right. I'm 24, Dusky. What's the easiest diamond to get, in my opinion? Um, I'd say turkeys are one of them. Most duck species are relatively easy, but they're a little more hard now that they, uh, updated the waterfowl system. Capper Callies are pretty easy diamonds. Mountain Lions are easy diamonds. I'd say those are the easiest ones. Come on, show me the ones. If we see four ones here, then we're good. Wait, we might actually hold on one, two, three. Okay, that's a doe. Yeah, so we don't have the respawn for that buck we shot here earlier. If we can get this zone to have four ones, then I think we'll be good. I think we can abandon it and then dedicate the tents to a different area. Because I think we're probably going to try and search some other locations. Because I, I do want to see if maybe there's some spots that I've missed. Maybe some old zones that I thought were empty have gained some deer. So I want to free up at least two tents. True squirrel, true. I wish squirrels were in the game though. That'd be awesome. What are some better spots on Medved for moose? Um, the river is insane for them. The river is my favorite place, and then that's a good diamond. I also like the uh, the big lake in like the top right quarter of the map. There's a big lake there. I forgot the name of it, but it's got really good moose population as well. There we go. Yeah, this is actually my favorite rack, Zyvon. I love this rack. I feel like it looks more realistic than the big racks do for diamonds. Mainly because the uh, the G2s aren't nearly as absurdly tall. Like, there's just something about the G2s on the bigger diamonds that just doesn't look natural. Same with a lot of the racks for True Racks Whitetail, to be honest. This is one of the few ones where... It's not like twice the size of the rest of the tines. And I love that about it. To be honest though, I wish in general the Diamond Whitetail had less tines. I'd really like to see some 5x5 five five or 6x6 six six Diamond Whitetail that just have a lot of mass. I think that would be really cool. There we go. 255. Can you stack rares? No. Stacking rares will literally do nothing for you. Yeah, Ben, I've actually got a 267 and I think maybe a 268. Um, a couple people have 270s though. I've seen a few people get a 270 for that rack right there. And, um... Same goes for the, the rack right below the big rack. That one can reach 270 also. I've got one of them. CJO's got one of them. I'm sure other people do also. Yeah, there's a there's actually quite a few racks that can reach 270 for the whitetail. I believe there's like three of them. Possibly more if you get some crazy tip-to-tip -tip spread with true racks. But you would have to get the spread of a lifetime on some of those racks to get it to score 270. What is the best map for Whitetail? Uh, it's between Leighton and Revon Tuli. They're both really good. Which one you find to be the best is going to deter- or, uh, It's going to depend on 
what your grinding style is. And really what you look for in a map. I think Revon Tuli has more deer overall. But Leighton's are more condensed. They're only on the left side of the map. And so for my grinding style, I chose Leighton. And I found it to be a pretty enjoyable grind. And it's a little bit easier to manage early on because there's less ground you have to cover. All right, where's, where's the bucks here? These ones have not respawned for a little bit. We're going to get a great one, maybe? This random great one shows up. Yeah, still just those three. We might have to wait a little bit longer for the others to come back. Oh my gosh, Turkey, that's wild. <laughs> that's quite the list. Rip. That lake looked like the tiny lake on Tiawaroa for a minute. So was was surprised to see Whitetail. <laughs> really, this one right right here. Got you. Okay. I think that's the one you were talking about. I guess it kind of looks similar. Thank you, Jacob. What PC setup would I recommend? Um, I don't know if I really have PC recommendations. Uh, I don't really know like what the best, I guess, value is nowadays. It's been a while since I built my own system. Um, the most recent one I got was just a custom built off of Ironside PCs. But those are the specs that mine has in the chat right now. That's a diamond. I see a diamond in the back. Maybe? No, that might not be. Yeah, that's that's not. Never mind. It is a big one though. All right, let's try to get these others to pop out. Uh, there is no difference between console and PC uh, tents. You can have the exact same amount on console and PC. At least as far as I know. Not gonna get away from me. Silly deer. <laughs> if only, Night Warrior. If only that was possible. If only that was possible. What's the best non DLC beginner rifle? Uh, 270 is great early on. Early on, the 270 is a phenomenal option. Once you get access to it, purchase the 7 mil break action. That is another phenomenal gun. I'd say those are two of the better ones early on uh, with no DLC. Let's see. Do we have another two here or will it be a one? Yeah, I would like a 20 tent limit. Honestly, I think the, the limit for tents should be 20. Because can you think of how much of a difference four extra tents would make? 
without it being too absurd, it wouldn't be such an insanely high number to where it would make it too easy, but it would just make it less annoying. Uh, quite a lot, Ryze. Uh, I see it at least 10 times every stream. Uh, we do have another two here. Trying to see if that's a pie. No, it's not. Always got to double check just in case. All right, I think that was the only one though. Uh, definitely Johnny for Fox grinding. I could see that. I <laughs> know uh, the tent limit is 16 uh, baddest. I'd like it to be 20 though. That's what I was saying is that I'd like them to raise it up to 20. I feel like 20 would be pretty good. I remember back in the day we could only have four tents. Did you guys imagine trying to do a grind with four tents? Because that's what it was like when they first added the tents. It was pretty rough. Shortly after though they upped it to 16. Because they realized that four was just not enough for maps as big as the maps in Call of the Wild. Um, it depends, Crusader, man. It took me like 1,500. But it really depends on how you're doing the grind. Um, there's definitely some approaches that will make it happen quicker. Like, it depends on, like, how early you're stacking threes, uh, how... How lucky you get with respawns like how quickly are you gonna get ones on the map like there's a lot of stuff that factors into it but I'd say a thousand to fifteen hundred is probably the average for herd management to kick in fifteen hundred is where it usually kicks in for me it, it happened with red deer and whitetail pretty much the same around fifteen hundred but that's not to say that that's gonna be the same for everyone oh it moved I know CJO had a pretty lucky group of initial spawn Rocky Elk that made his grind go much faster than a lot of people's herd management would. I think his started kicking in like five or 700 kills. Maybe even less than that because his map just started out with a ton of level twos on it. Or not twos, a ton of, yeah, it was twos. A ton of level two uh, Elk. You can't find it, Johnny. Rip. I hope so, Brayden. The fact that we're going to get two different fox species on the same map is actually kind of exciting. If it's good for them, that'll be amazing. I think one of my favorite additions on this new map, though, has to be Raccoon. I'm just I'm so happy that I won't have to go to Mississippi to hunt Raccoon anymore. I'll be able to hunt them on another map, which is going to be cool. Nice, Mason. That is pretty lucky. Pretty much none. There was a lot of walking in the early days of Call of the Wild. Gosh, what was I going to say? There was something else I was going to mention, and I forgot. Let me scroll up in chat and see if I can remember. Nope, I can't remember. I'm, uh, drawing a blank. I know, Preston, it's crazy. It was rough when the game first came out. There was also so many really bad bugs in the first few months of Call of the Wild's existence. It was pretty bad. Like, you guys think that there's a lot of bugs now? You should have seen the first, like, six months of Call of the Wild. 
Actually, to be honest, for the first year of Call of the Wild was really bad. There were so many bugs. And they were worse bugs than what we get today. There was a lot of bugs where, like, animals would be there for one person in multiplayer and wouldn't be there for another. There was issues where literally every animal would be frozen on the map. There was a lot of pathing issues where they'd get stuck on trees constantly. Then there'd be sometimes where you'd join a multiplayer with your friends and you couldn't even see any of your friends in there. The bugs back then were really bad. The, uh, the tracking bug was pretty bad back then as well, where just randomly your blood would just completely disappear. All the tracks would stop showing up in the area. And then whatever you were tracking, good luck finding it. So happy that all of those bugs are out of the game. Because those were really bad. Yeah, me too, Courtney. Having turkeys on Layton is going to be interesting. It's going to be cool, though. It makes sense. Okay, why does this one keep showing up here? I don't want it in this zone. I need it to show up in one of the other zones. This is two runs in a row where we've had a level one here. Yeah, Dusky, like, entire herds would get stuck in bushes. It was pretty bad. Like, you know these types of trees right here? You would have, like, a... Uh, you'd have Whitetail, like, just running up against them like this, all stuck. And it happened very often. It still occasionally happens, but nowhere near as bad as it was in the old days of Call of the Wild. The first year of Call of the Wild was pretty rough. It was also really fun, though, because the game was new. It was new, there wasn't really any... information on diamonds or anything like that. And so there was a lot of mystery with the game still. Later, Duck. Thanks for dropping in. Nice, Christine. That's really lucky. That's a super fast grind for sure. Wait, where are the other two over there go? Oh, they're they're running. Okay. Well, we got three of them at least. Not the smoothest uh, kill chain we've had at this lake, but decent. Oh yeah, I saw that Zyph, and I saw that in the uh, in the official chat when I was going through the trophies there. Pretty sick. That is, uh, that's a crazy super rare. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's probably one of the rarest super rares I've seen as of recent. Just getting a feral goat to make diamond is hard enough. Then getting it with a black fur type as well? That's insane. Diamond lions are cool, uh, big. They're pretty cool. I always have terrible luck with getting diamond lions. Only had two my entire time playing the game. Oh, really, Zyphon? Yeah, that's crazy. That's pretty wild. Better than my luck for uh, feral goats. Ooh, that's a big three. That's a big three right there. Where's the other buck? There's usually two bucks here. Usually two shootable bucks here. Guess we'll see the other one shortly. Or maybe there's only one this time. I guess there's only one here this time. Yeah, I don't know what this one's going to score. I'll have to take a close look at the rack, see what the tip to tip is.
Huh. I'm gonna say 270.2. 270.7. 270 I was close. Very close. But that is our 256th diamond. Yeah, I was hoping it would be bigger as well. What's my current kill count around? Um, in total with Whitetail, I have 17,500. However, since we started up this grind here on Layton, it's been, let's see, three, four, it's been about 4,800 kills since we started on Layton a few weeks ago. So we are pretty far into the grind. I don't have a rare counter. I just couldn't fit it up there. I wanted it to fit neatly and nicely up at the top of the screen and still have room for the uh, different tickers for the supporters and stuff. Another big three. Okay, that one I think actually might score higher. Wow, that's... That might be a 270 crown rack, not gonna lie. Is this what I've been looking for? Is this gonna be... Is this gonna be my first ever 270 crown? That was super wide. Actually, is this the smaller variant of it? There's two of them that look very similar that score a bit different and are different sizes. I can't tell, is this the smaller or the larger of the two? It might be the smaller variation. Wow, that thing's beautiful though. I like the way that looks. Yeah, I think it is a smaller variation. Either way, this will still be a good one. There we go, we got him. What will it score though? If it's the smaller variation of this rack, I'm gonna say 263. If it's the larger variation, 270. Might be completely off, but that's gonna be my guesses. It's definitely the smaller one, I think. Yeah, it's definitely the smaller one. 265 for the small variation though. Wow. That is actually such a beautiful buck. I like that a lot. That's got to be one of my favorite diamonds from the grind. That's actually huge for this rack. <laughs> that is huge. Wow. Stitch, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What's up, dude? Just grinding away as always. Just grinding and grinding, trying to get those uh, great ones and super rares. Hey, Revive, how's it going? Yeah, this is a beautiful diamond. I think this is my favorite diamond of the day so far. Probably one of my favorites from the entire grind. I really like this rack. It, it, this one is so wide. 20.69 tip to tip spread is pretty good for this one. Now, if only the uh, beams could straighten out a tiny bit, like if instead of hooking in here, it just went like this and then straight out, that would probably look even better. But it's not bad. It's one of the better looking diamond racks. To me, at least. I mean, that's fine, Zyphon. They're probably just excited about it. Not everybody gets diamonds every day, you know? Not everybody's got the time to get diamonds constantly. Another level three. Oh my gosh. The threes are flowing in. Let's uh, update the diamond counter once again, and then we'll take this one down.
Getting a ton of threes today. Is there another three there? There might be another three there. Well, I mean, regardless, let's take this one. Yeah, it was just him. Still, though. Another three. Crazy. No threes over here, though. What you get for going in the water? Yeah, he was talking about that earlier, Ben. He was in the chat earlier here, uh, talking about that, Mela. Crazy. I'm gonna have to take a look at it once I get done with the stream, because that's not something you see every day. A 270 plus Mela. Pretty crazy. 258, that's- this is the same rack that we just got, but the smaller variation of it, by the way. This is the same rack as our last one, but just a much more close tip-to-tip -tip variation. Cool, though. Love to see lots of diamonds. And that brings us up to... 258. Wait, how did he not float? I'm confused. That's, uh, <laughs> that's strange. Oh, I know how. It's because we fast traveled here first, and so he returned to the shore where we shot him. A lot of times if you fast travel out of render, they'll go back to the shore that you killed them on. It's very strange, but hey, it works in your favor sometimes. Wow, Miguel, that is very close. That is so close to being a super. I am Squirrel. I'm very glad that he didn't float. It just uh, caught me off guard for a second because I forgot that they do that. How many ones do we have here now? Two. Three. I think it's still just three. No, Bob, I'm not really dropping uh, too many hints. I'm not going to drop anything that will give away what it is, you know? Uh, Queen Lightheart, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content here on the channel. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Scarecrew. If anything, I feel like it makes it speed up, Brayden. Whenever I'm playing Call of the Wild, time just flies by. Nothing new here. Thank you, Tucker. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. you have any reasons why I don't get any deer at Mount Kraken? Wait, which one is Mount Kraken? I don't keep track of what the names of the mountains are, so... But, uh, regardless, I don't know. Everything's a little bit different on everyone's map. Like, zones that I have, you might not have. Zones that somebody else has, neither of us might... Uh, might not have. There is a bit of randomization when it comes to the zones. Think of it this way. Let's say there's 150 different locations that drink zones can be. Uh, only about 65 to 70 of those will actually have a zone in it for any given person. And which ones you end up getting is all up to chance. You used to have them there. They've probably moved then. 
Um, if it's been a while since you've checked there, it could have been changed by an update. They could have moved on from getting their zone deleted. The herd could have just up and walked away. I've had that happen a couple times. There's a million things that could have happened. But I would say if it's been a while since you've checked there, there's a good chance that some of the redistributions and population resets have probably changed it. Anytime we get an update that resets the population or changes the home ranges of animals, it's going to move them around quite a bit and you'll be seeing them in different areas than you used to. Uh, yeah, Mass, I will be live tomorrow. Nice, CJ, that's awesome, man. Congratulations on your diamond. Can I please do a lodge tour? We will at some point. I do plan to do a lodge tour whenever I can, <laughs> whenever I can bring myself to record another 40 minutes. Because I recorded a lodge tour like a month ago. Talked for 40 minutes, completely lost my voice by the end of it because it was literally 40 minutes of straight talking with no breaks in between. And so I, I almost lost my voice from it. It was getting really scratchy at the end. And then... I ended up accidentally deleting the file because it was mixed in with a bunch of footage that I didn't need. So I was going through all of my footage and I just saw that it was a super long clip that was uh, a bit further back in the list. And so I just assumed it was one I had already used or one that I didn't need anymore and I ended up deleting it. But whenever I, uh, whenever I can bring myself to record it again, we'll have another tr uh, Trophy Lodge tour. As for when that'll be, it's hard to say. Nice, CJ. We actually got one that was 270.70 earlier today. That's crazy. No, long legs. There's nothing that makes a great one spawn faster. You can hunt as many or as few of your zones as you want. But if you're doing herd management, it is helpful to hunt all of your zones so that you can do it properly. But if you just want to shoot deer and hopefully get a great one, you can hunt as few or as many zones as you want and hunt them however you'd like. As long as you're shooting bucks, you got a chance at a great one. There's nothing to make it happen faster or slower. At least that we know of. I'm sure there's probably a way, but nobody has been able to get solid proof of a way that is guaranteed. Hey, Arizona Hunter, how's it going? Oh. Wrong level one. That is not the one I wanted to shoot. Let's hope it didn't die. I, I don't think that was a good enough hit for it to die before I exited. So I think we'll be okay. But that is not the level one I needed to shoot. There was a different one. Got them mixed up because he had moved around a bit. Well, now we're going to wait for them to come back. Uh, no, Niall, I haven't been able to... I haven't been able to uh, do any hunting recently. Last time I got out... Wait, what's that? Oh, gosh. I saw the three, and then I saw these two behind it, and the the way the tree bark looked, it's it scared me. I thought there was a great one for a second. <laughs> like, the, um, the lighter coloring in the bark, plus the antlers... Made it look like it was bigger than it actually was. But that's a big diamond. Nice to see three deer here. <laughs> Four shots. Can the tour be after New England? Probably, Walker. Probably. Let's see. 
I'm going to say 272 point 47. 268 actually. Wow. I was way off there. <laughs> I was way off. Oh, is it two? Yeah, it's two different racks. That is two different antlers. That explains it. Probably would have been 270 if it had actually been even. Now let's go grab those other two. But as we walk over there. Raise up the diamond counter. That is six diamonds today, guys. Not bad. Excuse me. Had to like hold in a cough and then turn away from the microphone. You will have to find out in tomorrow's video, John. Tomorrow's video, all will be revealed. Thank you, Ripley. I appreciate that. Well, that was an unfortunate miss. What are you doing over there? Okay, I'm not not even going to try any more shots. <laughs> oh no, Walker, that's unfortunate, dude. Yeah, KC will be le be live later in the later in the evening, Ian. And you guys might want to check his stream out. I got a hunch there might be something pretty cool. You see, I was uh, I was hunting here on Layton, and a little bird flew up to me and was like, "Hey, man, you're gonna want to watch KC's stream tonight. Things are about to hit the fan. Uh, you will see tomorrow, One Way Stars. You will see tomorrow." Oh my gosh, KC, really? <laughs> That's hilarious. How does that even happen? Welcome back, Duck. How's it going? Another three. Oh my gosh, it's a guaranteed troll with a 250 upper estimate. <laughs> oh, you sad, sad deer. That's a sad deer, man. That is such a sad looking whitetail. What happened to him? He's had a rough life, I can already tell. Yeah, it's quite the troll, Johnny. Quite the troll. Yeah, KC, okay, you probably just need to get more threes on the map. I had trouble towards the end getting those remaining ones, and that's when I started stacking uh, diamonds in my favorite zones. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. Uh, wrong deer. Uh, pretend that I didn't... Mm. Oh, it's floating. Okay, lovely. <laughs> For a second, I was like, is that our three? No, it wasn't. I know, Ben, for a second I thought that was him. Then I realized I picked up the wrong one. You see, this is what happens when you hunt and chat at the same time. Um, I'd say the blind DLC isn't necessarily a uh, required uh, giga. I'd say it's more important to get the tripod one. 
the blinds like it's it's um wait blind dlc oh are you talking about tents and blinds um if that's the case yes for some reason i was thinking waterfowl blinds the tent and blind dlc is good yes it's it's a good one okay this thing is still atrocious looking 246 <laughs> I've had worse. I've had a level 3 score 239 before, and I've had a diamond rack level 2 score 233. Or was it 235? It was one of those. But regardless, I've had some even worse than this. But this is, uh... This is crazy. Oh, this is 50% the rack that scores in the 230s. If both antlers were like this one over here, this would be in the 230s. Gosh, what a deer. <laughs> I've already taxed one that... The one that scored in the 230s, though. So maybe eventually we'll uh, take a look at that. But obviously I can't right now because of... You know, there could be spoilers if we... If we killed our great one. Or there could not be. But I can't go in there regardless because... If there is or if there isn't, then you guys would know what answer it is. And so I can't look at the trophy manager. Great one coming? I hope so, man. Could you imagine? Alright, we're gonna have to reset again. Oh, wow, Dusky. Yeah, that's about what one of mine scored. It was somewhere in that range, either 233 or 235. Crazy. Just just crazy that they can even score that low. Well, actually, yeah, regardless, I can't go into my trophy manager because I've got spoilers for another video as well. So, yeah. Okay, couple decent twos. Why even be a level 3? I know, right? I think the level is more based off of the weight. If I'm not mistaken, I think level is based off of the weight of the animal. And then Truerax uh, does its thing with the antlers. So it's like two separate systems. Well, I would have to see you donate that before I do it, Optimal Egg. I would have to see you do it before I do it. Nothing today, Denise. Nothing today. Hey, there's a three. Nice. 257 minimum estimate. Oh, I gotta add that to my troll count real quick. Since that last one trolled. But we got a diamond right here now. Where'd he go? Right there. Should be vitals. You know, we're trying to get a level one here and we get a level three instead. Call of the Wild at its finest. Two fifty nine. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that brings us to. 260 diamonds. Beautiful. Love to see it. And that's our seventh diamond of the stream as well. Seven diamonds and two trolls today. It's a solid day. Nothing new here again. Yeah, Arizona Hunter, I can see them, but yeah, it's hard to read off all comments because there's quite a few that come through. I try to respond to as many as I can, but there's only so much I can do. There's only so much one crow can do. 
Yeah, you sin it is my full-time job. I am incredibly uh, thankful that it is as well. Always dreamed of being able to do YouTube ever since I was 14 and here I am 10 years later. Hey, there's a buck and there's another one. All right, let's get these two down. Honestly, if I could get this zone to become level ones, that actually wouldn't be a bad thing. It could be kind of nice to get it to be all level one so I don't have to come down here anymore. Isn't that the great one zone? It is indeed. This is indeed the one that our great one spawned in. I'm glad to hear that, Gavin. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, Luke. We're getting a lot of them today. Been a solid day. Hey, Cantor, how's it going? How you doing? Man, I'm really, uh, I'm really interested to see what this poll is going to end at so far. 26% do you think that I got impatient and went ahead and shot him? 31% uh, do you think that another great one spawned and that I shot both of them? 24% of you think that it ran in front of another deer and then I accidentally shot it? And then 18% of you think that I had save file corruption and had to go back to my uh, backup save. It's very close. I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty shocked at how close the pull is. I didn't expect it to be this close. You got ate by a duck? Probably. Those ducks, man, they're, they're evil. I'm telling you, man, ducks are, ducks are the most evil little things ever. They will eat your great one and take over your house at the same time. Two thirty-six. Oh, let me scroll up real quick in chat. I think I missed the first part of something. Oh, nice, Arizona Hunter. That's awesome, dude. That actually is a pretty crazy accomplishment. Man, when I when I hit 10K, that was such a massive milestone for me. I remember when I hit it, like it, it, it was it was quite a moment of celebration. Thought the beavers ate the great one. Ah, oh, it could be. Never know. Those beavers are little demons. I swear. Taking all of our stands, taking our tents. Yet we can't even shoot them because they don't exist in the game somehow. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, you didn't have to, man. But I really appreciate that. That is insane. Thank you so much for that insane super chat, dude. Thank you so much. That is ridiculous. Well, I can't I can't keep it a secret now. Now I got to tell you guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess I, I, I got to tell you now. I got to tell you now. All I got to say is. I will tell you guys right before we end the stream. We'll uh, we'll finish this run up and then I'll tell you guys all about tomorrow's video. Or at least enough to give you guys an idea of exactly what it is. In fact, actually, it's about time for us to end the stream anyway. All I gotta say is... Be prepared for... To my knowledge, the very first stacked great one video on YouTube that we will be posting tomorrow. But Jeff, thank you so much, man. That is crazy. Now, I won't reveal any more. I'm not going to tell you guys uh, exactly what happened or how many or what they looked like or anything like that. But there you guys have it. Thanks, <laughs> thanks to Jeff, I had to tell you guys. That's insane. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff. I just don't know what to say. That is... That is such an absurdly generous donation. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you so much, man. Wild. Congratulations, bro. Well done. Thank you, man. Thank you. And thank you once again for that super chat. Holy. Like, I'm, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. But yes, guys, thankfully I didn't accidentally shoot the Great One when he was in his zone. I didn't accidentally tag him with the 300. But, uh... It, it was still a crazy video and I am more than excited to be able to show you guys tomorrow. Like... I gotta say it's probably one of my favorite videos I've ever been able to make. I am so, so excited for you guys to get to see it. Especially because I was really starting to get discouraged. I was really starting to think like, maybe having this great one on my map is going to slow the process of getting another one. And it all just happened so fast, just out of nowhere. And it's going to be a crazy video. It's going to be a crazy video. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, we'll get you guys ready for tomorrow's video. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Kill Clinton, hop over to his stream after this. He's got something pretty cool. Got a hunch he's going to be taking out something pretty awesome today. So be sure to check out his stream. Um, I will most likely leave a link to it in the Discord if you guys want to check it out. But I really appreciate you all being here. This has been an awesome day of grinding. And we've had some really cool diamond bucks. And uh, that looks like another diamond buck. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you in tomorrow's video. And tomorrow's live stream as well. Peace!